All right. Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, September 30th, and we're going to do a live solve of the moderately challenging New Yorker puzzle, which is by Patrick Berry. Uh, name we see a lot. A uh, very consistent constructor. Looking forward to this. And the funny thing about the New Yorker, they always give you this little sneak peek. Um, so you get author of the Decameron and on famous women, nine letters. Uh, I have no idea what any of that references. So um, could be an adventure. And let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we find today, Wednesday, September 30th. <clears throat> All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to minimize myself a little bit still working on still working on the tech part of this. Um, that's a bummer. Okay, uh, let's start with the downs. I'm going to try to walk through my process, my thought process a little more. Um, I feel like I rushed a little bit the last time yesterday's live solve. So I'm going to kind of talk through, you know, what's, what's on my mind. Um, <clears throat> so looking at this one across, like that's pretty long AKC breed, um, that's used as a rescue dog in the Alps. Well, actually that's probably a St. Bernard, right? Um, I was going to say, start with the shorter down clue because it might be easier to get. Um, but verbalized said, uh, uh, along with St. Bernard, I feel like pretty good about that, actually. Um, exam proctors yell is time, right? Uh, time's up. Uh, so St. Bernard. So actually, like, this is a pretty wonderful and uh, <clears throat> surprising beginning to a New Yorker puzzle. Um, typically, I can't get that much off the bat, and I'm skipping quite a few clues just to, to find a, a gimme to, to get started with. Uh, talk oneself up is probably brag, right? And goaded into action is, um, hmm. well, let's keep, let's keep moving along down the downs here. Left penniless, <clears throat> um, like busted or hmm, left penniless. Um, I'm not sure. Robbed, maybe robbed. Let's fill in robbed. We've got a, a, a bunch of really, you know, some some answers that we're very confident about. So we'll put in robbed there just as, as a placeholder and see if it if it holds up. Uh, last digits in many prices. Um, uh, it's going to be nines, right? I was going to say cents, like C E N T S, um, but the last digit in many prices nine ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine, whatever. Um, so that's actually a, a pretty nice, pretty nice clue for this answer. You know, nines. Hmm, I guess there are a few different ways you could clue this. Um, dressed to the nines. There's there's some options, but I like this. <clears throat> uh, creator of Centipede and Missile Command is Atari. Atari is something you see all the time in crossword puzzles, and um, I don't know if I ever actually put an Atari. Um, but uh, I've sure filled it into a lot of grids. Uh, like triples versus home runs nowadays. Uh, rarer, I would say, um, which is interesting. I mean, I guess, does that mean that in the old days, like a triple was more common than a home run? Um, Got to run really far for a triple. And in the old days, um, guys weren't in great shape, even the best guys, Babe Ruth and all those guys. But I think it's probably rarer. <clears throat> Tropical climate phenomenon that makes farming difficult. Uh, tropical climate phenomenon, like a dry season, maybe. It's nothing to play with. Oh, so I think this is going to be air guitar, which means that Rob was not confirmed. And that was a huge waste of your time. I apologize. Uh, so air guitar, right? Uh, left penniless. I'm still not sure what that is, but this across school looks like imaginary, right? Like some childhood friends, imaginary. And so really, I mean, I'm just looking, you know, I haven't even seen the clue yet. And I just, that just looks like it's going to be the word imaginary and then click on the clue and, and uh, that, and the clue actually confirms the fill for me in this case. Um, and dry season, that's, that's looking like it might work for tropical climate phenomenon, you know, could be. Let's see what we got here. She hosted the Oscars, the Emmys, and the Grammys. So that's going to be Ellen DeGeneres, which just as a general rule, like I, 
I hate when there's, I think this is fine, Phil, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, but given that she's in the midst of this like pretty big public scandal, it just seems really weird not to, to reference it, right? I mean, to just sort of give the highlight resume and, and not mention the fact that she's currently in the news, um, you know, it just kind of buries the lead for me. So, um, and I'm going to say this is dry season, right? I've got the S now, um, so dry season feels pretty good there. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep building on what I've got. Goaded into action is going to be egged on. And left penniless is ruined. Okay. That's good. I like that. Um, and title woman of a 1977 Neil Diamond song. So, I mean, I don't know the song, but it's got to be Desiree, right? I mean, that's the only... There's no other letter that could complete that, I don't think. And Caesar's dying rebuke per the bard. Okay, so that's going to be et tu, Brute. Um, you too, Brutus. Okay. Um, and, and let's see what we got here. On the ocean at sea. And got to one's feet is stood. So far, this is playing pretty easy. I mean, you know, not a long, not a quick solve because I'm doing a live solve, but um, uh, so far everything has just kind of fallen into place. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Nice flow to this puzzle so far. Um, Loretta Lynn is the singer of the Pill, and so I don't actually know that. I just know. I mean, singer Loretta, if there were no qualifier there, if there was no name of a song um, <clears throat> and you just said singer Loretta, I would say Lynn. So <laughs> it fits. I've already got the end there. Uh, feels right. And returned home feet first. So slid, like slid into home base in a baseball game. Original maker of Tickle Me Elmo is Tycho, T-I-C-O. Um, and let's see, what a drink served neat lacks. It lacks ice, right? Uh, performer who might have a drum on his back. Um, so that's going to be like one man band, I think. One man band. That's, it feels pretty good. Uh, strange as it may seem like oddly maybe, um, which is, you know, that's, that would mean that, that this one uh, ends in O, which would be a little bit unusual. So um, see what else we got here. Um, one hundredth of a Euro is some version of a cent, right? Like, is, is it a cent? Just C-E-N-T. Um, I don't feel like that's a term. For a euro, for a portion of a euro, but uh, it could be. <clears throat> Let's see what, what's the down here. Made bloopers, so that feels like erred, E R R E D. So I'm gonna say that this is probably sent, C E N T. And uh, let's see, African city, nickname the city of the. Oh, so this is probably Cairo, right? C A I R, and that would mean oddly, it's confirmed. So this is. There's a couple of unusual things here, um, but it's all confirmed itself pretty well. Um, oddly, bank on is going to be rely on, R E L Y, of the kidneys is renal. Um, and that, that's a term I mostly know. I mean, I'm certainly not a med, a med student, or, and I've never had any kidney issues personally. Um, I know renal because of crossword puzzles. So that's, if you're going to be, if you're going to do a lot of crossword puzzles, uh, this is something you're going to see often and it's worth memorizing, just like um, Roman numerals and Greek gods and the Bible, all that good stuff. Hopping mad, um, irate, right? And a shady garden spot is an arbor. A R B O R, like an arboretum. Uh, I grew up uh, around Boston, and used, my dad used to take me to the Arnold Arboretum, and would go bud picking, and I'd sit on his shoulders, and you know he'd walk me around, and I'd like, you know, 
pick off a little bud and I would like save them at home. And I, uh, that's a pretty odd thing, but um, the Arnold Arboretum will always ring those kind of bells for me. All together is in total, right? A shenanigan is an antic, which is weird because like you wouldn't, I mean, I guess you might refer to a shenanigan, but more likely it's shenanigans and antics, um, which I guess if you're going to, you know, if you need, if the fill is antic, then um, shenanigan makes sense because they're both more commonly known as plurals. And so it is a good, <clears throat> a good indicator of, uh, of that. But neither one is a thing you're likely to hear someone say, shenanigan or antic. So uh, let's see here. Channel that airs Snowpiercer. Hmm, that's interesting. I haven't seen that show. Um, I think the movie's awesome. Uh, it's the same director, um, Bong Joon Ho. I want to believe his name is. I apologize if I got that wrong. Um, but who directed Parasite? Uh, he did Snowpiercer the movie. Um, but what's a TV channel that ends in T, like TNT, probably, right? It's the only thing I can think of. Let's see if that works with the across. A certain resident of Hispaniola is a Dominican. <clears throat> Hispaniola is the island that is shared by the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Um, and so Dominican, that leaves us with double I. Oh, okay. Bridesmaid star and co-writer is Kristen Wiig. Uh, she's hilarious. She's one of my faves. Um, and like some special TV episodes. I would have said like two part, um, but oh, two hour. I guess that makes sense. Two hour TV episodes. United Man is Sir. Uh, author of, oh, here's that one that they alluded to. Author of the Decameron and on famous women. So <clears throat> right now this doesn't look like much to me. Um, having trouble parsing this as a name. So that's your game. Aha, right? Uh, Fortress like prisons. Set best best deals. Deals. Okay. Well, I still haven't really tried this corner, so try this out. Uh, ready for battle. I'm going to say that's armed. Um, Laura Linney in Ozark. Ozark's good. I like Ozark. And thought that the third season was like, enjoyed the first two. I thought the third season was off the charts, actually. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> blank salt foot bath additive is an Epsom salt. Big fan of those. Ne'er do well, son, in test of the Der Derbervilles. Um, so it looks like, you know, I would say Alex, but unlikely that that's going to start with an X. Um, so maybe Alec. Um, but I'll move on. I don't. I'm not sure of the name. So got to wait for a little more info. Michelangelo Leonardo. Uh, so this is Raphael. Um, really disappointing that there's no Donatello and that this is included as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but I'll give the actual artists their due. They were pretty good too. No, no Mutant Ninja Turtles, but still solid. Sharp instrument. Um, so that's probably going to be music something. Um, music something. Rockets to a Texas Hold'em player are aces. Oops. <clears throat> um, so music looks even more likely there. Wear away as soil is erode. United women are dames. So this take the task is going to be chide, which means we've got Alec, which was my my kind of uh, initial guess there, and music, which was my initial guess there. But sharp instrument music, something. I mean that's a sharp instrument. Like I'm having a hard time figuring out the rest of that. Bastilles though looks pretty good, right? Uh, a roof overhang is an eve. 
So I'm going to say this is Bastilles, right? Music, musical, sharp sure or musical ear, maybe. Uh, musical, uh, an easy mark. Well, that's probably a sap. Risked a ticket is sped. Used a needle and thread is sewed. Um, oops. Um, musical, a sharp instrument, I guess, is a musical saw. Musical saw. Is that a thing? Order in a restaurant. Order in a restaurant. Um, hmm, so maybe that's not saw. Order in a restaurant. Um, like have. I'll have. Yeah, I'll have blah, blah. I don't like that very much. Order in a restaurant, have. It's pretty nonspecific. I don't know. It feels uh, feels vague. Um, but anyways, moving on. Uh, writer of comic material, like a gagist. Uh, um, author of To Cameron and all of his. Okay. Uh, medieval armor beneath a surcoat is like chainmail. Chainmail. One with four legs and many hands. That's. It's a riddle. Completely seriously. Um, not sure about that. Billy Bean's team in Moneyball. So that's the Oakland Athletics. Um, not just his team in Moneyball, but also in real life. Um, this feels like I should have a better sense of this. Um, Boca Chica? Yikes. Uh, and Hesse. So like Helmet Hesse. Herb, Herbert? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Mid-sized Nissan since 1982. So I would have said that was like Nissan Sentra. But I'm... Oh, maybe this is like... Oakland A's, O A K L A N D A S. Oakland A's. Yeah, I think this is stuff. And actually, I guess this is a little more specific because it would be the athletics or the A's, right? I don't know. Uh, but Oakland A's. Master of as time goes by. Okay, so that's Elsa. Play it again, Sam. That's when she requests as time goes by from Sam, the pianist. I don't see why we shouldn't is let's, let us. Um, boy, this is probably gonna make me feel pretty stupid. Um, uh, so now this looks like Herman, right? <clears throat> Herman, yeah. Herman the German. Uh, Mid-sized Nissan, that's Sentra, which is what I was wanted it to be, so thanks for that. Nation once led by Kwame Nkrumah. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, but that sounds like it's probably a nation in Africa, and this looks like Ghana. So, let me go ahead and fill that in. It's Oxfather is... It's funny that they qualified this within the Star Trek universe as if like there's some other Spock. I mean, I guess there's Dr. Spock, but um, Spock's father in the Star Trek universe. I don't know the answer to that. Um, ebbing and flowing is tidal, like the waves. Having a nap, perhaps. Hmm. A bed. Uh, writer of comic material is a gag stir. One, which is like, again, I mean, who would say gagster? 
When would you ever hear that? Uh, one with four legs and many hands is a card table. That's a nice clue. I like that. Um, and completely seriously is in earnest. All right. So congratulations. You and I have successfully live solved the Wednesday New Yorker moderately challenging puzzle by Patrick Perry in a mere 19 minutes and 24 seconds. Um, just take a quick look at this cartoon because those are always usually pretty funny. Always usually great uh, crossword grammar right there. Um, anyways, let's take a peek at the puzzle. Um, overall, pretty nice. I mean, found a really good flow initially. Um, I definitely had the harder times um, over here in, in the Northeast and the Southeast. Um, this whole part of the puzzle came together really nice and naturally. I like the look of it. I like this kind of like staggered, um, you know, staggered diagonal middle section, um, just kind of uh, pleasing design with these big stacks in the corners and um, it all looks pretty good. Air guitar, um, it's nothing to play with. I thought that was really nice. Imaginary friends, um, St. Bernard, like anything that references mountains, the Alps, all good with me, dogs. This is This really hits on a lot of wonderful points for me. Um, and the fact that it's one across is a terrific start. Um, Ellen DeGeneres, as I mentioned, like, you know, wish that there was at least a more, more of a reference to her current situation and relevance. Um, Bastilles, I didn't, I don't think I realized that the actual prison, the style of prison was called a Bastille. Um, and I'm, I'm interested to look up, look that up. Um, musical saw. Mm, I mean, I guess that's like a guy is like a guy in a jug band, like literally playing a saw, like, boom, boom, like, I don't know, maybe. Um, and then Boca, Boca, Boca Chio, Boca Chio, Boca Chio. I, I don't, I'm not sure I've ever heard of this person. Um, that was a, a doozy. Um, <laughs> So that's another thing I'll be looking up. Uh, one man band, great reference. Um, actually, like the more I look at this, the more I, I kind of really like a lot of the fill. Um, and uh, Sarek. So I guess like Spock was part Vulcan and part Sarek, maybe, or is Sarek his name? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, nice puzzle. Uh, 19 minutes for a live solve on a Wednesday. I guess that's not too bad, actually. Um, nice flow to it. And uh, thanks for joining me. I've been enjoying doing these these uh, these live solves and I've gotten a little bit of decent feedback. Um, although, like I said, you know, I, I do want to focus on kind of talking through my thought process a little more <clears throat> rather than just filling it in um, and, uh, you know, kind of do a live version of what I do in the, in the written blog where I can suss out some of the stuff that I already know uh, without doing the, the real time research. So anyways, if you have any feedback, um, I'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, check out my blog, crossboss.com and um, I'm sorry, crossboss.blog. That's awkward. And um, you can also find me on Twitter, uh, crossboss. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thanks.